I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Shade of blue. Beautiful. Oh. Say, can you fill me in on what happened last night? What? Sure, I can fill you in. <laughs> it all started when Harvey Holmes' boss told me he had to give this big out-of-town buyer a fling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, poor Harvey. He's not the time. So who did he come to? Ma, the fling came to <laughs> And from all reports, they had a blast. Well, that's it, huh? Well, that's it. I've got a couple of minor complications. Do you like that pink? Love it. What kind of complications? Well, A, <laughs> the big out-of-town buyer thinks the boss is Harvey Helm, and Harvey is Bob Collins. Oh, no. <laughs> and B, he had such a good time, he's going to stay over one more night. <laughs> Poor Bob, he must be dead. Oh, not the man of iron. Mm -mm, no, sir, he's in there right now, photographing a bathing suit model. We can check on him when I take these in. Oh. Would you hold these for a second? Yeah. Uh, I'm dying to see them. Are they for sale? Oh, no, just a couple of things I did for the dressing rooms. <laughs> As a draft? I'm an old-fashioned girl. I paint only practical things. Oh, like what? <laughs> like men and women. <laughs> oh, you had me. <laughs> oh, look. Hard at work. Well, he was an iron man. <laughs> Have you trouble focusing, boss? Boss? <laughs> Get 20 bucks of sleep now. You'll be all right, and I'm sure you'll get. Good afternoon, ladies. Harvey, how nice you look. <laughs> Thank you. What's the occasion, Mr. Helm? Well, ladies, you are now looking at the new vice president of the Gravener Furniture Company. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank oh, that's wonderful. You. Oh, Thank you. Oh, oh. When did this happen? Tomorrow morning. <laughs> yes. Just as soon as Bobby hands me that order from Mr. Henderson. And if he entertains him tonight the way that he did last night, oh, <laughs> it'll be quite an order. <laughs> Oh, at last I'll get Ruthie off my back about that raise. We may have some bad news. Oh, oh Margaret, what could be bad news to me today? <laughs> oh, nothing. Bob well, can't entertain Henderson again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you found something, Margaret. Oh, you dug up a beaut. Is Bobby sick? No, but he's exhausted. Oh, is that? Oh, for heaven's sake, I thought there was something... Oh, no, you don't. No. Sound asleep. All right, I'll no, 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 just, just... What, what? Bobby boy, it's fun time. Champagne, pretty girls, dancing. <laughs> Bobby, are you all right? <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, girls. See, he's asleep. Are you sure he's not dead? <laughs> Bobby! Bobby! Mr. Helm, be reasonable. Yeah, he was up all night and he's worked all day. No, he can't take another you, night. You don't understand. He has got to entertain Henderson. Please, let me talk to him. He'll do it for no, me. No, no. The last thing he said before he dropped off was call hard, tell him I can't make it. That's right, Mr. Helm. Well? Well, I guess that this is it. Yes, I'll... Just have to face Ruthie without that raise. Oh, I'm sorry, huh? Oh, it's all right. When your number is up. <laughs> Harvey, he looks so desperate. Oh, he's not nearly as afraid of Ruthie as he pretends to be. He must get that coffee. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
You take a look at these pictures of my children, children, and then I want you to tell me whether or not you're going to allow their. Bob is there. Excellent, Avery and Irv Johnson. Dr. Paul. Man, why? <laughs> oh, Hart. You were going to jump with your children's pictures in your head. <laughs> I had no idea this meant this much to you. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll entertain Henderson tonight. You feel better now, old buddy? I'm fine, then. Good. Mike, don't ever do that again, Hart. You, you have no idea. Call! 
old babes kill the wine, half Henderson here, and he looks divine. <laughs> Boy, why didn't you tell me that they dress like this in Hollywood? What? Well, we must have looked like a, like a couple of dude tourists in those tuxedos last night. <laughs> Let me show you the one I got for you, son. I want to show you something that's going to knock your eyes out. <laughs> How about that, boy? Ah, we're really going to make a splash tonight, uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that jacket. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, now there's a real cute number. Yes, sir. She's one of my top models. Say, uh, why don't you give her a jingle, boy, and join Harv and me tonight? You know, you look like a man who could use a little fun. Well, thank you, sir. Mr. Henderson, sir. Half. But... Uh, half, sir. But I have work to do tonight. You know something, Colin? What, sir? You are really dull. Uh, yes, sir. I suppose I am, especially compared to my friend Harvey Helms. Oh, you can say that again. It's a good thing you ain't in the furniture business, boy. You couldn't sell an ashtray to Edward R. Murrow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that, do you? No, son. Boy, you are so. <laughs> uh, well, there's my buddy, boy. How do you like it? Ain't it a gaffer? Yes, yes. They, they ought to sell these with bicarbonate in the pocket. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, though. You know, I, I don't think this one is, is quite for me. Oh, but Could I think it's terrific, Mr. Henderson. Oh, this is beautiful, Mr. Henderson. You like it, boy? Yes, sir. Then why don't you just go back there and slip it on? It might brighten you up a bit. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Awful dull man. <laughs> Pitiful. <laughs> Uncle Bob? Uncle Bob, can I catch a ride home? Sure, Chuck. <coughs> oh, hello, Mr. Helm. Hello, Chuck. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Bob. Hi, Chuck. Mr. Helm, I don't know. Bobby, I tell you, I know how terribly busy you are, so I'll just run your nephew home for you. Oh, thank you very much, Harvey. Uncle Bob. Hold it, boy. <laughs> that explains it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. College today is a waste of time. Just confuses a boy. <laughs> Collins, why don't you pull this boy out of school and put him to work here, taking photographs of these models? Yeah, how about that, Uncle Bob? <laughs> well, we'll talk about that, Chuck. Right now, you run along with Mr. Hill. Yeah, yeah, come on, Chuck. Uncle Bob. Uh, Hap, I'll call you later at, at the hotel. Right, all right. You better pull me out of college before I'm a complete wreck. <laughs> oh, that boy is confused. Your nephew, huh? Yes, sir. Whole family's pitiful. <laughs> yeah, every, everything's all set, Harv. I'm leaving right now to pick up Shirley and Colette. Oh, wonderful, Bobby. Well, look, I, I'm writing out a new order now, so as soon as Henderson is ready to sign, you call me at the office, and I'll whoop right over there. Well, you won't have to wait very long. I'm going to nail him early tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Ruthie. No, no, I haven't seen her, Harv. Well, any, anyway, Bobby, thanks a million, and uh, good luck. Yeah. Oh, now, Colette, honey, I don't like being stuck with Henderson and Shirley tonight any more than you do. But if you'll cooperate, I'll show you how we can get rid of them early. Oh, we can? How? You dance the legs off Henderson. But he is Shirley's day. Well, honey, I know that, but you see, Shirley can't take it like you can. She, she's older. Me? That is true. You see, you see, if you help wear Henderson down, he'll take her home early, and then you and I'll be alone. Okay, Bobby. To be alone with you, I do. Ah, oh, good. Now, Henderson's waiting at the club, so I'll drop you off there, and then I'll go pick up Shirley. Why me, sir? Well, well, so you can start wearing Henderson down. Remember, Shirley's older, poor thing. <laughs> oh. Sweet. Hello, Mother Donald. This is Harvey. <laughs> yes, is Ruthie there? Oh, oh, no, 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 there's nothing wrong. No, no, I just thought that she might be visiting with... No, we haven't quarreled, Mother Tuttle. <laughs> no, no, you see, I was just talking with Bobby, and he said that she wasn't... 
I didn't say I was with Bobby. I said I was... Well, but... Tuttle, believe me, there's nothing wrong. You see, I'm just trying to locate... I did not strike your daughter. <laughs> Mother, I am mere... I, I am not raising my voice. You... Oh, my aching uncle. Mother Tuttle, I, I'm still here. No, Mother, I was just drinking. <laughs> I am not in a bar. I am... Mother dear! Ma I did not say another beer! <laughs> I said mother beer! Beer! Now, uh, Shirley, honey, I, I don't like being stuck with Colette and Henderson tonight any more than you do. But look, if you'll cooperate, I'll show you how we can get rid of them early. Really, Bob? Yeah. How? You dance the legs off of Henderson. Well, why me? He's Colette's day. Oh, I know, honey, but you see... Oh, poor Colette. She can't do it. She, she's older than you are. Well, yeah. but well see, honey, I, I thought you wanted to help me get rid of them early so we could be alone. Oh, you know I do. Oh, good. Then, then you'll help Colette wear down Henderson, huh? I'll dance his legs off. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> Oh, hello, Mrs. Helm. Hello, Chuck. Hey, your mother just called me looking for you. Really? Yeah, would you like to use the phone? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, would you please give this to Margaret? It's some very special nylons that we've been looking for everywhere, and I finally found them out in Westwood. Sure, Mrs. Helm. Hello, Mother. It's Ruth. He did? From a bar? <laughs> Harvey? Oh, he's with Bob. <laughs> no, Mother. Thank you. Now, let me take care of it. Goodbye. Mom will be right down. Oh, Chuck, do you happen to know if your Uncle Bob is double dating tonight? Yeah, yeah, I heard him phoning two of his swingingest models. Do you happen to know who the other man is? Well, uh, Uncle Bob referred to him as a big furniture man, but I don't know his name. I do. By any chance, do you know where they're going? No. Oh, say, it seems to me like you mentioned the, uh, the, uh, Mermaid Club. The Mermaid Club. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Are you leaving? Oh, I'm joining Harvey at the Mermaid Club. Oh, well, I hear the floor shows a riot. You'll both have a lot of laughs. I expect Harvey to be in stitches. <laughs> 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 the girls have got them worn down, eh? <laughs> Wonderful. Well, look, I've got the order all ready. I'll be right over. making a few phone calls. <laughs> Good. I think the blonde is pooping out. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, Shirley may be older, but every time I dance with Mr. Henderson, I catch up with her. <laughs> Would you rather sit this one out? Oui. Bye. No, not with him. Okay. Let's go in the cocktail now. Uh, say, Garcon, uh, bring me another one just like that one. Uh, on second thought, you better make it a full one. That was empty. <laughs> Boy, he's duller than Colin. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> is this Mr. Helm's table? Well, it sure is, honey. Hey, when that Harvey makes a phone call, he sure gets results. Uh, Henderson's my name. H.R. Henderson. My friends call me half. Oh, where are Mr. Helm and Mr. Collins? Oh, that Collins is just too dull for us, but uh, old Harv's out there dancing up a storm with a little French babe. I don't see him. Well, maybe they're sitting this one out. 
<laughs> you know an old heart lock? Long, but not well. Well, you're going to know him well before this night's over, honey. <laughs> that boy is faster than a hog heading for a bowl of chitlins. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Man, I've had me some wing dings in my time, but last night with old Harvey and those two gals was the blue-tailed, fur-covered, apple knock it in. And then you were with Mr. Helm last night, too. Oh, honey, we had us a ball, I tell you. And he told me he worked late last night at the office. Honey, he worked late, but not at the office. Say, <laughs> so, yeah. would you like to dance, sugar? Well, thank you, but I think I'll see if I can find Mr. Helm. Oh, I don't believe I got your name, honey. Uh, Mrs. Helm. Mrs. Helm? Yes. Oh, that's a lovely name. Oh, these California... <laughs> Mrs. Helm. Bobby. Oh, you didn't, you didn't wear it. Oh, Bobby, I've got the contract all ready to sign. Oh, yeah. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Wall. Well, come and see him. Yeah, right. Okay, right. yeah. Let's go to the table and get his signature. Oh, well, now, wait a minute, Bobby. Uh, Mr. Henderson doesn't like me very well. I think that I'd better wait right here. Okay. You dance with Colette. I'll get it. Well? Oh, congratulations. Bobby says this has been a big race for you. Oh, Mr. Bois. In just one minute, I am going to be in close. <laughs> How are you doing there? <laughs> fine, boy, fine. Hey, Cap, you know, we wouldn't want anything to get in the way of our having a good time tonight, would we? Well, no, boy. <laughs> Why don't we just get this furniture order signed and out of the way? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Where'd I put that, John Henry? Right on the, on the top line there. Oh, fine. That's all. <laughs> uh, tell me something, Harvey. You a married man? Married me? Are you kidding? <laughs> Why, uh, Shirley, honey, <laughs> am I married? Tell him. Married? Uh -huh. You? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. There you see. I must have heard wrong. Uh, where did I put that number? Right on the top line. There, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are really putting up an exhibition. <laughs> they haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> we killed them tonight. <laughs> oh, that was funny. You sounded just like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Very much that done. My pleasure, boy. <laughs> well, say, uh, here comes that little lady who said she was Mrs. Hell. <laughs> Mrs. Hell. Well, my goodness. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> see, will you ask him to call me as soon as he comes in? Yeah, okay. Oh, just a second, Mr. Hell. Here he is. Uh, call him in New York. Got Simon. Right. Vice President Hell, would you speak to you? Well, congratulations, Har. What are you going to do to celebrate? Bobby, I am going out and I'm going to buy me the biggest, the thickest, the juiciest <laughs> steak in town. Will you join me? You bet I will, Har. I'll see you there. I hate to get personal, boss, but who gave you the shiner? Mother. <laughs> no. by King Donovan, Ruthie Helm by Mary Lawrence, Shirley Swanson by Joy Lansing, Colette Dubois by Lisa Gay, The Model by Gloria Marshall, and H.R. Hap Henderson by Bob's special guest, Jess White. This is Bill Baldwin speaking. <laughs>